Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be having a look at the new voiceover options and IntelliScript in DaVinci Resolve 20. So the first one we're going to start with is voiceovers from the edit page. So all you need to do is make sure you have your timeline set up. So just have some stuff on the actual timeline. Then there's the new voiceover icon here. So just on the left, so you can click that. It'll bring up the voice record options. So you can enter a file name, choose your input, and then set your record track, so whichever one you want to use. Then you have a couple of options here by clicking the three dots and you can adjust these three things. So I highly suggest using a timer, just makes life easy, three seconds is plenty. And I also suggest muting your timeline as well, so you don't want to have any sort of a feedback loop or something happening while you're recording your footage. So that's the one from the edit tab. Then you can go over to the cut page and it's pretty much the same thing. You have a new voiceover option here. So just use the drop down menu and go through pretty much the same list of options here. Again, it's pretty straightforward. If you've been using DaVinci for a while, most of the options here are stock standard and they all make sense just looking at them. So the next thing here is also scripts. So you can click this icon right here and see the script menu. And this will essentially bring up a little teleprompter for you. So you can enable it or disable it, enable by default. Then you can just load in a script file, which is a standard text document. So you can't use a Word document or anything. You'll need to use a text file from Notepad or something. So you can import that and it will give you your script on screen. The queue option will jump back to the very start. So you can mark points on your timeline here on where you want it to actually start. Record, straightforward, we'll start recording and stop, will stop. There is one thing here that is a little bit tricky that I haven't quite figured out yet, and that's playback speed. By default, it seems to go by the length of your script versus your timeline. So it kind of tries to match them up and get the speed perfectly set for your script length and your timeline length. So I'll just give you a quick example of what I mean. So when I click record, it's going to be going at this speed based on my script length and my timeline length. However, if I stop this, I have to go to the jump page for a second. I'll just remove some of the length, go back to the cut page. And as you'll see, when I start recording, it's going to be flying through to try and match the script to the timeline. As far as I know, there isn't a way to change this yet. So you kind of have to match them up according to whatever your project is. You'll get the hang of it eventually. So for the new IntelliScript option, which we're going to have a look at now, basically it will pull your script that you upload from the standard text file and it will chop up your video using that exact script. So here's how it works. Just right click on the file in your media pool, then go down to AI tools, then go to create a new timeline using IntelliScript. Then here, go to the file that you have for the script. So I'm gonna be using this one, it's just a standard text file. Load it in and it will chop up your video exactly to what's on the script. As you can see, this is a new project after it's been run through the new IntelliScript AI. So it's chopped up the entire video, sound and everything to match the script. Now you can go back through and manually adjust this. And I do suggest doing that because it can be a little bit hit and miss sometimes, mostly just because if you deviate from your script a little bit, things might not line up exactly the same as they would. So you might need to adjust some of the endings and the beginnings of each of the little clips. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this guide. If you have any questions, just drop them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Cheers, everyone.